everybody, it's me, Ash, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and want to see more crafty-related videos, and a little bit of everything-related videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and choose your preference on my like YouTube to know about you and my videos. So, I'm here with the Project Share. I got crafty the other night and um, made a Halloween wreath. I know, Halloween, I'm starting already. I still have a few other things that I want to do for Halloween, so... I'm starting now because I work all the time. So, anyways, um, I was thinking if you were interested in seeing me do a tutorial on how to make this, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll go live and we can do it together. I, it all really depends on what I have going on this weekend and how Grayson is feeling. So, but it's easy. Everything I got from the Dollar Tree super easy not hard to do and then I also dug into some of my husband's tools which um, I don't know where he put them he must have took them back from me I do not have enough stuff to make a big one like this but I do plan on making a small one um, but it's the same thing and in the end if you stay all the way to the end I'll give a list of things that you need to make it um, and hopefully this weekend I can get on here and show you guys so it's a moon shape wreath right here see and it's halloweenish and i love it everything i used is from the dollar tree except for this um chain it was just leftovers in my um in my uh craft mess so everything here is from the dollar tree I absolutely enjoyed it. It's super easy to make, and I'll show you everything that you need. Mm -hmm. right. So that is my project share. I love the little eyeballs and all the glitter and everything. I do want to spray it with some hairspray so it stops shedding because the glitter does come off of that mesh um, like crazy. So this is my moon Halloween wreath. I was also thinking about maybe dangling a, like a crystal or something from the bottom. But I'm not sure yet. I have to see how I want to do that. So, if you want to make a big one, you need a big metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree. Um, I only found one, but I did grab a couple small ones so I can make small ones. I don't know exactly how much mesh you will need for the small ones, but the big one I needed two rolls. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. So, I'm guessing this is like way smaller than that that I'll only need one roll for this one so um, you need those you need if I can find my mesh right here. you need this they have different ones I'm trying to it's crafter square sparkly mesh or whatnot I did purple because I found all purple items they have I think green and orange and gold maybe don't quote me if I'm wrong, but um, for a big one, you need two of these. For a little one, I'm guessing you only need one. You're gonna need your hot glue. You're going to need scotch tape. You're going to need wire cutters. Um, something to dangle with and your florals, which I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm using these ones on the other one. So I think that's all you need. Wreath form, wire cutters, your sparkly mesh, your floral, um, scotch tape, I said hot glue gun I think, and something to hang it with. That's it. Any kind of decor you want to put on it, that's all you need. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see how we did this. And I will hopefully either get a tutorial up for you or do a live. So, yeah, that is it for this video. I have to go get ready for work because that's all I do now. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.